Alright guys, so this is round four of the OTS winner box from PlayNation Games. Let's go ahead and see what this is game is going to be like. So the first player is going to be the Cash Tira Tierlements player who is up against Sprite Runic Live Twins. Three level two decks that work very well in tandem. So the Cash Tira player, well the Tierlements player is gonna go ahead and use his Fenrir. Fenrir would search, search a Cash Tira card and he goes ahead and uses Scream and wait oh so he goes ahead and normal summons diviner then sends out guido both players milling five and it looks like did did that did that tenements player just mill malicious merly and rhino heart that is uh very good and there's even a keldo <laughs> this is this is very good so he's gonna get to go ahead and fusion summon here and he goes ahead and summons destiny hero dangerous okay so this is actually quite interesting. So we're going to go ahead and get Rhino Heart Chaining 1, Scream Chaining 2 here. And I think he used the Suliac as Chaining 3. So he goes ahead and searches a Tealament Shirin. And then Scream's going to mill free. And he mill <laughs> Did he just mill Havness? He's milled Merly and Havness. And he's going to get to go ahead and send a Tealament's Kashtira to the graveyard, which will allow him to mill two more cards. Wow, okay. So this Cash Tira Telement deck is going off hard. That's that's really good. Okay. So he mills two cards, and I don't think he chose no, he probably did the have Nessus chain chaining chain link one, and then the Telement's Cash Tira chaining two. So he's gonna go ahead and fusion free now with the Shiren in hand. Okay, interesting choice. To summon out his Kaleido Heart. Okay. So he's got Kaleido Heart on the board, he's got a dangerous, he's got well, now he's going to Link Summon into a Baron de Fleur. So he's got Baron, Dangerous, Kaleido Heart, Fenrir on the board right now. Okay. Very strong turn one from the Telemans Kastrip player. And he discards a Kelbeck, which is going to send a Malicious. And then Kelbeck's going to go ahead and activate to both, both players mill five cards. What is going on? I thought the uh, Ashiza cards weren't good anymore. What's this? So he's going to go ahead and use the Malicious now. Which is going to go ahead and special summon a malicious from the deck. Okay. Interesting. And what's he going to summon? Like, he's going to... What's he going to do with it? He's going to link summon? He's going to make a rank 6? Beatrice seems good here. What's he going to do? Because he's already got a very good setup board right now. So he's going to go ahead and summon out the Beatrice. Probably going to end up using that Beatrice's effect. I would assume you would send like a scream or something to the grave so you could go ahead and recycle the traps in grave, right? So he goes in and says scream and then scream is going to go ahead. Oh wait, no, it adds a trap to hand. So he goes ahead and adds the Suliac from the deck to the hand. Or was that Suliac? That might have been the Book of Moon trap. Okay, and then Baron's to- <laughs> Baron pop Kaido Heart to send Shiren and then Shiren effect. What's he going to summon? So he fuses King of Swamp, so he's gonna, what, make the Tillaments? No, he, he just made the Graffa Fusion. So what's he got? He's got a Monster Negate, slash a normal Spell Negate, which makes him discard a card. He's got an Omni Negate in Baron de Fleur. He's got Kashtira Fenrir, and he's got Kaleido Heart with the Trap set, so he can go ahead and utilize that. This is an insane board, and he's got Beatrice to just send anything from the deck to the graveyard. What is the Runic Sprite player gonna do here? Like, this is absolutely insane. I, I actually don't know how the Runic player plays through this. Like, this board is madness. Okay, so it's going to start with a Flash Fire. Flash Fire is going to kill the Graffa. Okay, so that's good. That's good. That will go ahead and deal with the Graffa because the Graffa can only negate normal spells, not quick play spells. And he's going to go ahead and use Freezing Curse to negate the Baron. I'm assuming after the Baron was chained to the Graffa. Or to the free to the flash fire. So the graph is destroyed, the barrel is negated, he's banishing the top five of his deck. Okay. And oof! Evenly matched! And he chains Baron. Uh, sorry, he chains Beatrice. Oh, sending Havnis to the grave. What does he choose to keep here? I don't think like there's any good options. So he chooses to keep the Kaleido Heart? Okay, interesting choice to keep the Kaleido Heart. He's going to then use Havness. Havness is going to fusion. What's he going to make? Drago Stepelio? Fusing the Graffer and the Havness. 
summoning out the what is it? Yeah, Drago Stepelio. Like that's gonna turn off a level two, which is good for him. This is a this is not this is very strong. So he's gonna normal summon the Lilla. Lilla's gonna get negated. So where's he gonna go from here? Activates okay, activates slumber, which is probably gonna summon a level two. He does summon a level two. Okay. Is he gonna use the effect? Like he could discard it to get the field spell, but I don't think it's good. Is he overlaying? Like, that's illegal. Yeah, no, no, you can't do that. Um, that Lilla is a level one right now. Okay, so that was an illegal play, but he does go ahead and use the Cash Tira Telements to go ahead and mill free. And uses the Kaleido Heart to bounce. I don't think. Is that how that works? I thought Kaleido Heart had to be summoned back, or is it just when something's milled? Maybe I maybe I'm mistaken. But Okay, like, I feel like like the illegal play there was obvious. She can't go ahead and summon a uh, rank two, but at that point, I don't think there was any way the sprite runic player could win it anyway. So the game was gonna go to the tournament player anyway. But that like, you can't go ahead and summon a rank two with a level one and a level two guys. Dragon Spellia does make the monster that it targets a level one monster. So let's go ahead and see where this is going to go now. And I'm going to have to reread Kaleido Heart because I thought it was only on summon. It goes ahead and shuffles. If it's on mill or when any Tillerman is summoned, that Kaleido Heart's a lot better. Um, yeah. Or he just milled like insanely good off the Tillerman's Kashira and he chose to just go ahead and scoop there. I can't inside, sadly hear the audio. But they are in the side decking mode now. We're going to see what the side deck entails because this Tillerman Kashira deck is. That's wild what it was just able to do. Like, it just set out some of the most insane board that I have probably seen in a long time. Like, I thought Tillaments were not that great anymore, but seeing them do that, that's really, really good, guys. Like, that's that's absolutely insane. So, let's see what happens here. How is this match going to go? It looks like they're just power shuffling now, and we're going to see where this game will lead. Like, I'm hoping to see... I, I don't know. Like, I know the Runic player is probably going to be going first, because he lost game one. So what's the Runic player ideally going to set up here to deal with, like, this board state that he's able to create? Like, will the Tillerman player be able to break the Runic board? The Runic sprite board? I'm curious, but it does look like the Tillerman player drew double Super Poly. So we're going to see what that does. So he goes ahead and normal summons Lilla. Lilla's going to go ahead and summon our Kiss Kill from the deck. He summons the Snowman version of Kiss Kill. The lovely skin there. He's going to activate Flash Fire, which is going to summon out a level 2. He summons out the Runic... Uh, I can't remember her name. The Runic level 2 that can go ahead and search the field spell. I can explain the cards perfectly, guys. I just cannot remember. It's Hugin. Hugin. He summons out Hugin. And then he goes ahead and activates the Live Twin Continuous spell, probably to search a Kiss Kill. No, he searches another Lilla. Okay. Getting that out of the deck. And let's see. He's going to overlay the Lilla and the Hugin. Summoning out Gigantic Sprite. That's going to go ahead and special summon probably a blue from the deck, right? Yep, blue. And then blue effect is going to trigger. That's going to allow us to get Jet. Jet's going to go ahead and summon itself. And he's going to go ahead and get Sprite Starter. Okay. And then the, he's going to go ahead and link that off. What's he going to summon? He summons IP Masquerina. Okay. It looks like he's trying to make his own insane board. And he summons a Kiss Kill. And he's going to use Kiss Kill's effect to summon back the Lilla. And then he's going to link those two off probably into the Lilla link. And then Lilla's going to go ahead and summon back Kiss Kill. After cutting, because he's going to draw a card from that Kiss Kill. And then Kiss Kill's going to go ahead and use the effect to draw one. He's going to chain Sprite Starters to that, just so he can get something out of the deck without drawing it. So he wanted to get the carrot out, so he doesn't draw the carrot before the draw. And then he draws a card. And then he'll probably activate the field spell, right? Yep, uses the field spell. And then passes turn. So... What is the player, or the Tillerman's player going to do? So he starts off with Super Poly. Like, absolutely insane. Discarding a Danger Nessie as well. Allowing him to search any danger. And he does summon a Mud Dragon with that Super Poly. So he's going to get to go ahead and probably search maybe a Jackalope, or a Danger Mothman, or, I don't know, Suchinoko? Like, just these good dangers, right? So what's he going to go ahead and grab from the deck? What danger is he grabbing? So he grabs a Mothman. Mothman, very good, being if it discards itself, he can go ahead and discard a Tealaments to go ahead and trigger the Tealaments Engrave. Very nice, very nice. 
So what's he gonna do from there? Like he's only made the mud dragon so he kaijus the kiss kill. What? Okay. So he's dealt with his essentially the entire board. Does he have the ability to OTK though? <laughs> like, and he has Rhino Heart. So he's gonna be able to use the Rhino Heart effect to send any tier elements monster from the deck to the graveyard and then fusion summon with those as well. Most likely making Kaleido Heart because he's got the Danger Nesting Grave. He's got the Rhino Heart on the board. So, oh no, but he chooses to send tier elements Kesh Tira to go ahead and mill two. And he, he milled Havnis! What is going on? And if Rhino Heart! What's the hell? That's insane! These cards are at one, guys! How is he milling the tier limit name? And he, he chains a tier limit cash tier Oh, what is going on? This is insane. Okay. So he's gonna go ahead. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so he goes ahead and summons tier limit cash tier He's gonna fusion with Havnis. Fusioning the Rhino Heart in the grave. Oh, no, he's gonna summon the Rhino Heart? What? So he's gonna no, he uses the Rhino Heart on board, the Nessie and the Oh my god, what is going on here? To make and the Nessie with the Havnis to make the Rhino Heart? The, sorry, the Kaleido Heart, and he's gonna go ahead and get rid of the field spell. And he's gonna get to mill free cards thanks to the effects of Telemans Kashtira. This is nuts, guys. This is actually insane. Like how how is this deck doing all of this? I actually can't believe it, guys. I thought tier elements were absolutely dead. We have all thought tier elements were dead. But, hell, they, they are not dead, guys. So, he mills free, mills a tier element cash tier. I'm really hoping right now that mill effect is well as I think it is. But, hey, well, I don't think he'll be able to use it again. But, yeah, he dis mills a polymerization as well. So, he is playing something like polymerization. Probably because he's playing King of the Swamp to go ahead and discard it. Search a poly so he can go ahead and utilize the monsters in hand. Which is pretty good. So it looks like he's currently just thinking of his board state. Where's he going to go? This is... I just... I can't believe how this is going. So he's going to go ahead and Mothman. Goes ahead and hits the Mothman using the Mothman effect to draw one, discard one. Both players do this. Uh, it looks like he drew the Tillamant's Trap. So he's decided what he's discarding. He, they discard the Destruction and he discards Super Polymerization. So... Wow, um, he attacks the Sprite Carrot and he goes ahead and kills his own Kaiju, dealing some damage there. Attacks with Rhino Heart and attacks with Mud Dragon. So I think in total that was like, I'm not too sure, around at least over 4k, right? So he passes turn there with one set. What is the Runic player going to do here? Like, what's the, what's the Sprite Runic player going to do here? So he normal summons Kiss Kill, sorry, Lilla. And what's he going to do? What's he, he going to summon from deck? Oh, he chains the continuous trap. So it was the Tillamans one. Like, that Suliak is just so good. He's going to send the Kaleido Heart. Kaleido Heart's going to summon itself back, send a Tillamans from the deck to the graveyard. And then he's just going to get the free pop as well. Like, this is, this is insane. But he does have the Freezing Curse. Okay, so he does have the ability to protect his Lila to an extent. That is good. That is very good. Okay, so he goes ahead and have Nissa's effect. Alright, and he's gonna go ahead and fusion now. Summoning what? Drago Stepelia. Now, he's gonna use Drago Stepelia. Now, last game, he allowed the gigantic sprite to be made. This is a level one monster. I think he's realized now that he can't do that. So let's see where he's going to go. So he reads the Dragos Stepelia, just making sure it is level one, everything along those lines. Okay, so he's reading his blue, he's just thinking, and yeah, that seems to be game, guys. That was an absolutely insane game. Tillamans just showing how powerful the deck is still, just being able to completely dominate against the Runic Sprite Live Twin player. But guys, that was round four. I hope you did enjoy. I'll see you guys in round five, and... Oh my god, that was that was an insane game to see just tier limits popping off. Anyway guys, in the next match.